This is Kevin, and I am a strategist at Cubicle Fugitive. In this video, we're going to be discussing resources, specifically how to add a blog post to your website using the Sitefinity CMS. To access blog posts, we are going to click on Content and then Blog Groups from the Dashboard menu. Now, because a website can have more than one blog, this is the Sort or Grouping page. We can click on a blog name to bring up a listing of all the blog posts within it. And in order to create a new blog post, we would then click on the Create a Blog Item button. And this will bring up the blog dialog screen. I'm going to title my new blog post, New Blog Post. And in the main content area, I'm going to paste, sorry, that's the wrong paste. I'm just going to paste some more in some text. And once again, this is a rich text editor box. So we could highlight some text and make it bold, italic, change some alignment, we even create a link if we wanted to, whatever we want to do in here. Uh, next would be the summary field, which is a snippet of information uh, to entice the reader to click on the blog post. Uh, if we don't enter anything here, it's going to display the first 200 characters of our main content. But uh, for this demo, I'm going to write an enticing summary. Next would be featured item. This is if you want to make this a featured blog post, uh, which would uh, make it appear on your homepage perhaps, or at the top of your listing page. Uh, we also have the ability to add some related content related to team members, expertise, sectors. We have full control over meta tags, search engine optimization, etc. But we'll get into that in some other videos. For now, let's select some related content starting with uh, a team member, usually this, usually this would be the author of the blog post. So we'll say this one was written by Berta. And we're going to relate this to top level expertise one and child expertise four and five. And for sectors, we'll just pick test sector four. And uh, now under image, we're going to choose from our existing library. Let's just go to our test library and we'll pick the ice cubes here. And now I'm, I'm going to hit save as draft just so I can show you a preview of what we've done so far. As you can see, there's, there's the image I selected, my title, the person, the author, and then my text is there. Now this is just a temporary page. It's not actually live. So I'm going to close that at the moment and we're going to go back to our blog post page. So we also have the ability to add categories and tags to this. So we're going to stop by start by adding, uh, let's add a test category and we'll add test tag one and two here. And again, I'm going to hit save and we'll bring up the preview again. And you can see there's my test category there just going to close that for a second. So categories and tags are a way to group blog posts that are similar to each other to each other. And then on that preview page, if you clicked on the category, it would bring up other blog posts within that same category. So I'm just going to close this again and go back to our blog dialog page. So let's say we like everything we've done and we're ready to save this. We have the option, uh, sorry, of, of publishing this. We, we have the option of just hitting publish, which would make it live instantly. Or if we go to the three dots area, we have the option to schedule this to publish at a later time or even a past time. I'm going to choose to publish this um, this past Saturday. So it should appear dated two days ago. And I'm going to hit save changes. Now, because I picked a past date, this is now live. It is the same as having published it. So if we go back to, well, I'll show you the front end of the website. If we go to blogs, there would be my new blog post right there. Now, if I click on my blog post, You'll remember I related it to Berta. 
And if we click on Berta, sorry, one moment. We'll go down. And you'll see related blog post. You'll see my new blog post is already there because the Sitefinity CMS creates all those interlinking things for you automatically. So we'll just click on that blog post again. Oops, I clicked on the category. We'll click on the actual post. And that's it. That's how you create that's how you create a new blog post in the Sitefinity CMS.